as the petals of a flower wither by the hour, as the leaves of a tree swelter in front of scorching sun seek shelter. You put on those glasses to see the world better, while instead you should be cleaning the dust off of your mirror and gazing into the infinity of your reflection without rejection of the affection that looks back at you in introspection with nothing more than a deeper connection waiting to be made by the network of a thousand, a thousand drowsy souls waiting to be awoken with the realization that they are you and you are they. Oh God, for when will come that day? Oh God, for when will come that day when man's ego becomes deceased and he cooks his wife a meal as she sits awaiting her first spiritual feast, watching her spirit rise like the yeast in the bread of Christ's last supper, to the realization that she too is no other, but of the same wine and same line as men. I count to ten. Commandments? No. Commitments. For once you believe, you shall not follow but lead. Lead yourself on a journey for all others to follow and absolve this living that is oh so hollow. From ashes to dust, from passion to lust, as the masses we must learn to understand the strength when ten become one and move one hundred times a mountain that each alone could sway. Oh God, for when will come that day? God, why I ask you when all that which is true lies within me, waiting in hibernation through the winter of my soul's desolation, like the seeds in December's garden. Why I ask you when all that I see is too well knowing that all is one, and yet relish this entrapment of my perceived duality, as the world rides along in all its totality, on a path that brings salvation in neither its rewards nor its modality. O oh God, for when will come that day when your one thousand names are seen as one, and the oneness of humanity is celebrated under the sun? My quest for salvation has been interrupted by the breaking news flash of a nation that shoots itself with its own ammunition and then claims that it is live and on location. What nation is this, you ask? I ask you what nation this is not. For every finger that points, three others point back at the hand from which they extend, and in the end there are 15 billion fingers pointing back at the hearts of the nations that seek to point at one another in desperation. Why not close these fingers around the suffering of others whose pain lingers and form a fist which fights the hands of the self that dared to point in the first place? Oh God, for when will come that day?